The editor semantic token color customization setting lets you color your code based on its semantic meaning. Now that's quite a mouthful, but the basic idea is that you're coloring text based on what it actually represents instead of what the text itself is reading as. So you can color all properties one way, you could color all classes one way, and you could color all enums a different way, for example, um, based on what those values are actually representing in the code, not just based on their names. Now let's take a look at this in action in this TypeScript file because semantic coloring isn't supported for all languages, but it is supported out of the box for JavaScript and TypeScript. So I'm gonna open up my settings with control comma or command comma on Mac. I'm gonna put my settings to the side here and I'm gonna search for semantic color. And I want the editor semantic token color customization setting. This is an advanced setting, so I have to go to my settings JSON file here and I'm going to create an object literal. And when I trigger IntelliSense, you can see I have a bunch of themes listed so I can customize these per theme if I wanted to. Let's just customize them for all themes. So I'm gonna select rules here, trigger IntelliSense again inside of the rules property. And now you have a list of things that you can customize. So if we wanted to customize all of the methods, for example, we could go in here and say method. And by default, it's gonna give it this nice red color. And you can see that now over in my code, after saving things, all the methods are being colored red. And again, it's not just looking at the text and saying, hey, this looks like it could be a method. It is actually looking at the, uh, and using language smarts to say, hey, this definitely resolves to a method and I'm gonna color it red based on that information. So it's a lot richer than the normal text colorization. Now you can do all sorts of fun things here. So we could color all enum values here. We could give those a nice like yellow color, for example. Let's go do that. So now all of the enum values are being colored yellow. And there's also some more advanced things that you can do. So if we wanted to color all async values um, or all async both property functions and methods a specific way, we could do star.async here. And let's make all async things a nice bright green color. And now we can easily see just by glancing at the code, hey, this is an async function. I should definitely await it or make sure I deal with the promise result. This has just been a quick introduction to semantic colors, but you can see that they really let you understand your code just by glancing at things, and you can really customize things based on whatever you find most useful. Be sure to check out the documentation for more details.